This is Gretchen Cook with a 5-minute farm doc looking at meat consumption trends in the United States. Livestock feed is a significant use of corn and soybeans, and given the current volume of discussion about cur- about climate, ethical, and health concerns in the meat industry, considerations of trends both past and looking forward into the future is warranted giving the relevance to corn and soybean producers. This graph illustrates per capita meat consumption of pork, chicken, and beef from 1999 to 2020 for the United States. Overall, consumption has remained fairly consistent at about 250 pounds per person, which places the U.S. near the top globally for per capita meat consumption. From 1999 to about 2006, consumption was fairly consistent. From 2006 to about 2015, you see a decrease in consumption, and after 2015 until present day, consumption rises to current levels. The lowest level of consumption over this 30-year period was in 2014 at 235 pounds per person, and the highest is present day at 265 pounds per person. The decline from 2006 to about 2015 can be explained with three different factors. First, ethanol production diverted corn towards ethanol rather than feed uses, driving the price of corn and soybeans up and therefore the prices of meat. For the similar reasons, corn yields in 2010 and 2012 were low, also affecting the price of meat. Lastly, the Great Recession in 2008 decreased Americans' per capita disposable incomes, which has proven to have an effect on the amount of meat consumed and purchased. Another trend relevant in this graph, besides the overall levels of consistent consumption, is a transition between beef and chicken. Overall, levels of consumption of pork have remained consistent, but consumers have traded beef for chicken, especially in the past 10 years. This is relevant from a feed efficiency standpoint. A commercially produced broiler converts feed at about a 2 to 1 ratio, while commercially produced beef cattle convert feed at a 6 to 1 ratio. This means it takes three times as much feed to produce a pound of beef as it does a pound of chicken. If consumers continue to consume chicken rather than beef, this means that per pound of meat consumed, the average need for feed will be lower. Overall, we expect protein consumption to remain consistent and not increase significantly from current levels. However, if consumers continue to trade chicken for beef and feed efficiencies increase, this means that feed needs will remain the same or slightly decrease. If corn and soybean yields are expected to continue to increase, this means that demand for those increased yields will not come from domestic meat consumption, rather looking towards international trade or meat for export. For more information about this and other issues affecting corn and soybean producers, be sure to check out the FarmDoc Daily site.